Hi, and I'd like to welcome you to this Kipware QTE video presentation. In this video, we're going to uh, do a sample cost estimate. You can see our part print uh, that's up on the screen. Uh, basically, we've got a 4140 uh, part, which is made from 8-inch stock. Uh, we're not going to be concerned uh, with the cycle time estimating uh, for this, which is done in a companion Kipware CYC video, uh, which you can catch on our YouTube uh, site. Uh, we're going to be concerned with the cost estimate here. So we're going to do uh, material cost, uh, perishable tooling, labor cost, and uh, any non-machining costs uh, that might get involved with this part. So let's jump right in. First thing we're going to do is our uh, estimate information, which is basically reference information uh, for the uh, for the estimate. And so I've got my, uh, I'm not going to bore you with my data entry, so here you can see the completed form. Uh, basically, we've got print number, part number, revision, uh, person's name who's going to be the buyer and the estimate who's doing the estimating. Uh, but the main thing to be concerned with right now is uh, we're going to do an estimate quantity for our base quantity is going to be 350 pieces. Uh, we'll show you as we get into the estimate how you can uh, do, an, do a quotation for more than one uh, quantity, but this is going to be our base quantity. Uh, so we're going to do an estimate here for uh, 350 pieces. Uh, the menu system in QTE works from left to right, so we're going to be working uh, the uh, menu bar from left to right. Next, we're going to do our material estimate. I'm going to drop down and I'm going to look for my uh, bar stock, which is 8 inch, 4140, uh, 8 by 12 inch bar. And you can see that this is in my database. Uh, the bar length is uh, 1 foot, uh, the cost per bar 451.14. Uh, so this gets all loaded uh, from our database, uh, which uh, are done here. We can uh, add material and uh, load the databases through this database bar here. Uh, this is done in a previous uh, QTE instructional video. So if you need uh, more information on how to put information into the databases, uh, you can go to the Kipware video training site, and we've got some videos that go through that. And again, we're going to be concerned here with uh, cre actually creating the estimate. So I don't want to tie you down with uh, how you would input information into the databases. And in any one of these screens, uh, you can either pull something down uh, from the database, or you can enter anything uh, specifically that you want to do. Maybe it's a one-time estimate. You just want to uh, enter material manually, and you can certainly do that. Just to put it up in the form here, and uh, don't use the drop-down box that goes uh, to what information is in the database. But we've pulled down. We've got our 4140 bar, and you can see that everything's been loaded. And all I need to do in here is I need to put my uh, length required for the workpiece. So my workpiece is going to finish up at 1.375. Uh, so I'm going to input as inch and a half uh, for my uh, length of the workpiece that I'm going to need. And if I go into and I calculate costs, I can see that this is automatically done uh, into the estimate. So now my material cost has been uh, done. The cost has been uh, put up into the categories here. And you can see my specifics is I'm going to need uh, 43.75 feet of material, which is going to be eight bars, eight pieces. Out of, I'm, gonna get, I'm sorry, I'm going to get eight pieces out of the bar. I'm going to need 44 bars to be able to make those 350 pieces. And again, all of this is getting calculated automatically by uh, QTE. So that's my material cost. I'm going to go in and I'm going to do my perishable tooling cost. This is an area in QTE that I think is really unique and an area where a lot of people don't really include this uh, perishable tooling cost into their cost estimate. And this can be, as you'll see here, a substantial cost uh, that should be included in your cost estimates. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to just kind of run through how we would make this part. Uh, we're going to do tool number one. Uh, we're going to pull it down from the database, and we're going to say that this is going to be our 80-degree diamond. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to put this in a lathe, and we're going to do some rough turning. What we do is you can see that uh, we we pulled this out of the database. It's pulled up the cost. And what we need to do is uh, give it an estimated tool life. So number of pieces that we think we can get from that 80-degree diamond. and. Uh, it's automatically going to do some amortizing into the software. It's going to tell you how many inserts you're going to need. Uh, it's going to take all those uh, insert costs and put those into the quote uh, that we're creating. So we're going to give it an estimated tool life here. This is a 4140. I'm going to give it an estimated tool life of about 15 pieces before I'm going to have to uh, change that insert. Uh, then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add another tool. 
I'm going to drop down and I'm going to get my 55 degree diamond and I'm going to give this an estimated tool life of 25 pieces and basically I'm just going to go through the part uh, all the tools that we would need so uh, when we get out of the lathe and we get into the mill we're going to need a center drill uh, so I'm going to add that to the quote a number three center drill and I'm going to say that I can get uh, probably uh, let's say 50 pieces out of this so now we're going to do our drill so we're going to add a tool number four to the estimate and that's going to be our uh, 31 64th drill uh, the estimated tool life for this drill is going to be 25 pieces uh, tool number five is going to be our half inch reamer and again the estimated tool life we're going to put it at uh, probably a little higher here let's go uh, 45 pieces uh, for this particular uh, reamer. Then we're going to do tool number six which is going to be our half inch uh, roughing end mill. I'm going to rough that pocket with this uh, half inch end mill. Uh, we're going to put uh, 15 pieces for that end mill. Uh, tool number seven is going to be our three quarter inch cobalt finishing end mill and uh, we need to, uh, you know, the tolerances are pretty wide open on this particular flange uh, since it's only a sample part. Uh, so we're going to put uh, 25 pieces for our estimated tool life uh, for this particular part. Let's do some calculate costs and see what we got here. So uh, we've got uh, all our tooling now is uh, into the quote. Uh, we've got uh, our 80 degree diamond, our 55 degree diamond, our center drill, our drill, our reamer, and our two end mills. Uh, for a total of 55, 61.32 as our tooling cost uh, to make those 350 pieces. So we've got our uh, material, we've got our perishable tooling, and again we're going to do our labor cost. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to, uh, you can either you go through the part operation by operation and put in a uh, times efficiency rating uh, and go through all the machines in your database to do the labor cost. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to go grab uh, the companion Kipware CYC estimate that we did in a companion video. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, load a cycle time estimate and I'm going to come in and I'm going to do this flange sample estimate and I've loaded that now into my uh, QTE quote. And if I take a look at this, you can see I have nine operations. Uh, the software has gone through, automatically matched up the machines that I was using in my cycle time estimate with uh, the hourly rate and the efficiency rating that I have in my database. Uh, so you can see that I have, uh, let's go through each operation. What we did is we rough turn side one, finish turn side one uh, in the lathe, turn the part around on the lathe, uh, did side two rough and finish. Then we put it in the machining center in the VF1. We rough pocketed it, we finished pocketed, we spotted, uh, drilled the four holes, we drilled the four holes, and then we reamed the four holes. So the cycle time estimate done in CYC, this is a great companion to QTE. Uh, we've done the cycle time estimate there, now we've imported in, and now all our labor uh, cost estimating is done. If I do my calculate cost, you can see that I've got my labor cost in here uh, as well to do those 350 pieces. Uh, so I've gone through uh, each one of my labor costs now is in here. Uh, each operation is broken down into how many hours it's going to be required to do uh, 350 pieces for each one of those uh, operations that I've done. So now I've done my uh, material, my perishable tooling, my labor, and I'm going to do any of my non-machining costs. And what I've got in, in my non-machining costs also is a programming and setup time. Uh, so I'm going to do some estimates uh, for my programming time. A pretty simple part to program. Uh, I'm going to give it about uh, an hour and a half to program it. And maybe your programming hourly rate is a little bit different than uh, what you do for the machine. Uh, I'm going to put down $45 an hour to do the programming. Uh, the setup, uh, we've got the setup time on the lathe. Uh, so we've got to bore some jaws and we've got to do some setup. We've got to put some tooling in there. Uh, I'm going to put four hours to do the setup for both the, uh, the lathe and the mill. And I'm going to use this as a $75 an hour for my hourly rate. So again, if I do my calculate costs, uh, now you can see I've got some non-machining costs uh, getting uh, put into the quote. 
And there's other things that you can do in the non-machining costs uh, that you can do uh, either deburring or packing or uh, maybe you have to do some plating or some else, something else to the uh, to the part that's not really machine related and you can do these in the non-machining costs. So what I'm going to I'm just going to add one just to show you how we would do it and basically you're going to tell it that I do want to add a service. If I pull down from my database you can see that I have a uh, deburring in here. Uh, it's done by an hourly rate. It's done at $25 an hour. Now, this is what I have set up in my database. And I'm going to say that to do the deburring uh, for each one of these, uh, these, these parts, I'm going to say that it's going to take me probably uh, about uh, half an hour for each. That's uh, probably a little too hard. Let's go a quarter of an hour for each part. And again, I'm going to calculate costs here. And you can see that I've got uh, more non-machining costs into the quote. But this is going to give you an idea of, of, of how you create an estimate with QTE. And basically, uh, you can see that that perishable tooling cost, $5,500, may not have been accounted for uh, in a lot of shops. And that's a big uh, price, a big ticket item uh, for doing the quote. So you can see that I have a total estimate cost of $37,000 to make uh, 350 pieces and it's $106 uh, per part. So what I can do now is I can create a uh, quotation out of this uh, estimate that I've done. Uh, Kipware QTE gives you the option of doing up to six different quantities. So again, based on our base quantity of 350 parts, uh, you could give the customer a quote for uh, whatever they might be asking for, 1,000, 2,000, 3,000 pieces, and you can do all of that through this uh, quotation creation page. I'm going to give it a quote number. Uh, I'm going to give it some payment terms, which uh, you can set up in the settings of Kipware QTE. Uh, I'm going to go net 20. Uh, shipping terms going to be delivered by my truck. And uh, maybe the customer has given you an RFQ uh, that you can also put for reference into the quote. And now we can view our, the quotation form. And basically, this is the form that's shipped with QTE. It's our standard form. Uh, you can customize it by changing uh, the name and uh, the information, your information for your shop. Uh, you can put your company logo uh, up on this form. Uh, so when you print this form, uh, this is what it's gonna, pretty much going to look like when you print it. Uh, once you customize it, you'll get your logo and your shop information in here. But this has given us, uh, oh, we got no delivery there. Let's. Uh, fix that. And let's say uh, that our delivery is going to be, uh, let's say, 30 days. So here's our quote uh, that you can print, uh, send to the customer, or you can print to a PDF using a cute PDF uh, added option. And then you can uh, email it to the customer with a PDF, PDF attachment. Uh, so 350 parts, $114, uh, about $40,000 to do all those 350 parts. So thank you very much for your uh, software interest and for uh, viewing our video presentation of Kipware QTE, our uh, machine shop job costing and estimating software.